Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is uh, chapter one and this is a Blue Jay Basics video. So um, previously you would have looked at um, the architecture of programming languages and now this is your first introduction into Blue Jay. Um, we're going to have a look at um, Java and objects without um, looking at the actual source code itself just to give you a feel and idea of what's going on. Uh, so during this uh, little uh, video we're going to do uh, objects, classes, methods, parameters, states and data types to give you an, an understanding of those um, concepts. So um, objects and classes, um, what we use is we use these objects which we've mentioned before to try and represent things from the real world um, to try and make uh, the programming language um, closer to the, to, to the real world. Still a, a big gulf obviously but we try and make it closer. Um, so the object, a specific object um, is something in uh, can be represented. So for example, we could represent the, a specific red car which is in the car park, and that's a specific object. Whereas a class um, represents all objects of a type. Now this type uh, word we're going to use a lot, um, so you need to get used to it. Um, uh, there's certain different types of car, um, and all those, all of a specific type of a car can all be um, found from the blueprints of that car, so the design of the car. So for example, a Ford Focus, um, you'll have the blueprints for that. There'll only be one sort of set of blueprints for the car, but there'll be many objects, or be many, um, uh, many objects of that particular class. So this object and class thing, um, you'll need to get used to. Um, within these objects, um, they, uh, they have a certain behavior um, as we've, we've looked at. Um, this effectively um, becomes a, a set of methods, so a set of methods and functions um, within the object will define its behavior. Now, these individual methods um, are made up and, and can do certain things. Sometimes they will require a parameter, so sometimes you'll need to give some information before you can call the method. Um, and sometimes it will return some information, and other times it won't return some information. Um, and we're going to look into that um, in this particular uh, video. Um, other observations for objects. Um, another um, word you need to um, use is uh, the instance word. So. Um, an object is um, otherwise known as the instance of a class. Um, so many instances or objects can be created from a single class. Um, the class itself, so the, the, the code which you write, will define what fields an object has, so um, uh, what fields and attributes. Um, however, each object stores its own set of specific values, um, and this ultimately becomes the state of the object. So let's have a look at BlueJay now. Um, up to this point, you should have installed um, Java 7 and BlueJay on your machines. Um, and in the CD, there's a project folder um, which you'll need to have access to um, on your local machine. So make sure you copy and paste that. Um, so let's have a quick look at BlueJay now. So if you go into your project CD, um, uh, it'll be something like this. Um, and if you open up the figures project, it will look something like this. So let's have a look at Blue Jay then. Um, here on the screen here, on the, this, uh, these five squares, they represent the classes. Now we're not going to look at the code for these classes, we're just going to see how they work from an object perspective. So what we can do is we can create um, objects from these classes by right clicking. Now what we do is we right click and we call what's called a constructor method. So uh, these constructor methods um, are shown by the class here. So in this case it's new circle. Um, we give it the name of the instance of the class, is circle1, and that appears at the bottom there. Again we can do that with squares, so we call the, uh, the constructor um, method um, for in the square to create the square object. Again call the triangle constructor and then call uh, the person constructor as well. Just call all of those. Now what we can do is um, uh, we can make these particular ones visible. So the code is written to make these easy to use. Uh, somewhere on my screen a second. And there you go there. There's the circle which has been made visible. In fact I'll put this higher up here so you can see what's going on. Um, we can then make the triangle visible make this invisible and make the square visible. 
Now while we're um, making those visible, what we're doing is we're just calling methods of these objects. So remember, all of these individual objects now have a number of methods. Now these methods will define the behavior of that object. So for example, um, with our circle, we can uh, move that circle up and then that's exhibiting a behavior. So that's doing a certain thing, that's, that's moving up on our canvas there. Um, so we can do that. Um, we can then move it down, and again we're uh, we're giving it uh, uh, we're doing something so it's exhibiting a behaviour. If we have a look at these methods now, we'll see that um, they've all got this void word in front of them. Now, what void means is is it, it doesn't return anything; it doesn't give you anything back. Um, we're going to look into this later, but the sort of things it could give you back, it could give you um, some numbers back. So for example, you could call a method which added two numbers up and it would give you a number back. Um, so that would be um, a return of some kind. Um, these ones though don't return anything, they just, they just do things. Uh, the other thing uh, that you may notice in these methods is some methods um, have the, these um, uh, round brackets are actually known as parentheses, so I'll be calling them parentheses from now on. Um, some have a parentheses with nothing in and others have parentheses with with some words in. Um, now these words are known as the parameters um, of this method um, and the parameters must include a parameter type um, and the name of the parameter. So let's have a look at this particular one here. We're going to change the size um, and we need to change the size into something so it's going to be a type int um, and the type int is short for our integer an integer must be a whole number um, and then it gives the parameter name is the new diameter so let's go ahead and do that let's make it nice and big and that makes our circle very big indeed on our canvas um, that's a type int parameter let's try a, a type string parameter so if you've come across strings before strings are a collection um, of letters and numbers which make up effectively a word or a sentence so let's have a look at that. So we have our type string and our new color. Um, let's type in. So a string must contain um, uh, speech marks. If to two on a standard key keyboard must must contain speech marks, um, not quotation marks so, or not um, the apostrophe, but the speech marks. So let's make that red. Okay. So we've given that a parameter of string type. Um, we've also given it a parameter. Um, of int type for our change size. Um, so that's it really as far as um, the, uh, the things which you can do with the, um, these particular objects. Um, there's lots of methods here which define the behavior of the object uh, and we're going to show you how to create objects, define their behaviors, make methods, create methods with parameters um, and have methods with different return types. Okay. Um, what else can we do? Um, the other thing I want to show you is the state of an object. Now we discussed previously that uh, objects have a specific state and they're made up of a number of fields and we can have a look at the state of this circle object. Double click on the, actually just right click on the circle object um, and click inspect. This will give you the state of the object and again all it is is a list of variables um, and their types and their names. Um, three words here, the private, uh, the int, and the di diameter. Private I want you to ignore for the time being. Um, int is the type, so it must be a, a whole number, and diameter is the name. Um, so all the circle is is made up of a state, which is a number of these values here, x position, y position, color, etc. Um, and obviously it's, it's behavior as well, which is defined by its methods. Um, introducing a new type now the type boolean. Boolean is um, either a false, true, or true um, value, and that uh, is, the, is the simple boolean type. Um, <coughs> we've got a, a string type there of color, which again is red at this point. It must be represented by speech marks in that way. Okay, so those are our fields, and you've seen our behaviors, so you've seen the basics of objects. What I'd like to do now is go ahead and have a play um, with your own um, uh, Java and BlueJ and have a look at that particular um, figures application and have a little play with that, um, create some triangles, create some people, move them around, start to understand what's going on there. Um, 
just uh, finally before we conclude this one uh, I just want to show you um, a, a sort of a, a version um, of this diagrammatic version of the objects the circle in the sort of the brown color here um, represents the class um, with specific um, fields um, and then we create we can create two circles which are instances of those fields <coughs> or instances of those classes uh, those instances are made up of their own states um, and have very different values but all of the values are effectively defined by the class um, finally uh, data types um, all sorts of different types can be used so far you've used string types but you've also created a circle type and you've created a square type and you've created um, a triangle type and we're going to discuss types more uh, later uh, other things student types anything you can imagine can be created as, as a type um, and these are effectively just object classes so you can create a object class that will then um, create a type and then you can create an object of that type um, there are eight primitive types as well which are already created for you by Java and if you want to have a little bit of a look into that now it's shown in appendix B we will do that in the next chapter though um, have a good look at BlueJay now and I'll see you next time